from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Megan Gold. Well, sunglasses and sunblock, really, really important this time of year. The heat dome continues to kind of take hold over the region, but it will weaken as we head into the weekend. We're going to see a weak cold front, but not really going to bring us that cold of air. Uh, but as that moves to the south, we're going to see the heat dome, which is located right where all of these excessive heat warnings are. We're going to see it weaken and temperatures will be a little bit closer to normal, but still on the warm and hot side. We do now have heat advisories in effect for Tulsa County and to the west. But today we're going to have the biggest problem with heat advisory and feel like temperatures in far eastern Oklahoma, where dew point temperatures are going to be in the mid 70s, a little bit drier air trying to move into our western viewing area. But regardless, it's still going to be hot and it's still going to be muggy today. We're a little bit more cloudless than expected, more sunshine, which is really not good for our temperatures. We're sitting at 93 right now. Dew points in the upper 60s here in Tulsa. And as you go farther west, those dew points do get higher. We do have a little bit of a wind right now, and we've had this wind over the last couple of days, which has been really, really nice with how hot and how muggy it has been. Temperatures across the area are in the low 90s, and as we head to the next couple of hours, we're going to see temperatures climb just like they typically do. But heat index values, check these out from Grove down to Salisaw and Stigler, anywhere from about 104 to feeling like 106 right now, feeling like 99 right now in Tulsa. And you can tell where we have some drier air in place, 95 and 95 in Okima and Bristow as well. So into the afternoon. We're going to top out in triple digits here in Tulsa and still holding on to upper 90s by 6 o'clock, 94 at 8 p.m. And for most of the area, we're going to see upper 90s, if not triple digits. So we'll have a couple, couple of high clouds today out in western Oklahoma. Rain and storms move into the area. They're going to move across the state during the overnight hours and they'll fall apart, but we'll have a couple of lingering showers tomorrow morning around the area, about a 20% chance for a rain thunderstorm in the morning. Temperatures are still going to be warm in the mid to upper 70s, especially to the east of Tulsa, low 70s to the west. And then our better chance for rain is going to be into the lunchtime and early afternoon hour. And we'll be watching for a couple of these to get a little bit rowdy, but for the most part, not anticipating any severe weather. Check out temperatures tomorrow afternoon ahead of this cold front. We're sitting in the low to mid 90s for our high temperature before another batch of storms arrives as that cold front front moves through overnight. So our best chance for rain is going to be during the late morning and early afternoon hours and then overnight Saturday into Sunday. We're going to be watching for a storm or two to get strong to potentially low end severe right now. A marginal low end severe weather risk risk expected across the area and check out temperatures and heat index values as that cold front moves across the area overnight Saturday and into Sunday. We're going to see some cooler drier air moving in, which means our temperatures they're still going to be warm, but they're going to be a little bit more like normal and our heat index values are going to be in the upper 90s and really just topping out at about 100. So drier, uh, cooler air, if you can call it that, moving into the area and our 4th of July looking to be um, triple digitless, if you will, 94 for a high, but we do have the chance for some isolated storms on and off throughout the day. Of course, we're still a couple of days away, but looks like we are ending June hotter than we're going to start July, guys.